Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from the gift shop at the wonderful National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. What an incredible place to pick up a Western-themed gift. You could shop for hours inside the museum gift shop. It's the perfect place to cap off your visit to the Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum or just pop in to do some shopping. We'll show you around throughout the show. But first, as you know, there's a lot of people in Oklahoma who love to fish. That's right, but you may not have ever fished like this. Photojournalist Casey Kennedy takes us bow fishing on Lake Texoma. Yay. Today we're going to go out and see if we can't shoot some fish with bow and arrow. We're force feeding them. Really? We make them bite. We ain't got to use no bait. When we'll be in shallow water, probably the deepest water we might be in is going to be about four foot. We're going to be in one foot, two foot of water. And uh, got these polarized sunglasses on during the day. If you're going to do it during the day, that way you can see down in the water. And we'll just ease along with the trolling motor. Well, I've been bow fishing for probably close to 20 years on this lake. Oh, it's just fun. I mean, go out and shoot. The biggest one I've ever shot out of this lake was seven foot five, alligator gar. You got him. We're going to be shooting uh, common carp, buffalo, grass teeth. carp, uh, all your gar species, short nose, spotted, needle, and gator gar. And I've been doing it long enough. I can see the fish in the water. I can tell you what it is before you shoot. And if I see something ain't supposed to shoot, I tell them don't, don't shoot. Let him go by. Just watch him. It's it's amazing. It really is. Corey is one of the best guys I've truly ever met in my life. Um, he's he's consistent all around. You know, um, he wants you to have the best time you possibly can, and he will do anything to get you that. Um, He's just an amazing person with a huge heart and, and wants everybody to have fun and be safe and uh, shoot the, the most fish you can. Gar, 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 right there, right there. A lot of people do different things with them. Um, one cool thing that I know some people do is they'll take them to local farms. Um, and, you know, fish emulsions is an amazing uh, um, fertilizer, you know, and so they'll till them up into their ground. That may sound a little brutal, but you know, turns out no one else is fishing for these fish. And if they take over the lake, you know, it's, everything's off balance, you know, so. The adrenaline rush is amazing to me. It really is, there's nothing like it. Um, you know, it's, it's the thought of seeing something that is about to shoot off or is already taken off. And the fact that you just have such a small amount of time to draw back and shoot, you know. And there are so many misses because of the light refraction with the water. You think they're up higher, but they're down lower, you know, so you always have to shoot low. That range from, you know, anywhere between a pound or two to 100 pounds is just, it's, it's an amazing sight, an amazing feeling to be out and see that. To learn more about bow fishing, we suggest you visit the Oklahoma Wildlife Department's website and search bow fishing. You can find guides to take you bow fishing at texomaconnect.com. Now, if the Oklahoma heat makes you want to stay indoors throughout the summer, that's okay. We still have some options for you. You can check out one of our state's fabulous museums, like the Standing Bear Museum and Education Center in Ponca City. As you drive along Highway 60 in Ponca City, you can see the towering statue of Standing Bear. And if you turn off of the highway, you'll find even more at the Standing Bear Park, Museum, and Education Center. They're going to experience a, an outdoor interpretive center if uh, they're out in the park, in addition to a 22-foot bronze statue. And then inside in the museum, uh, there are exhibits that represent the six area tribes and exhibits of artwork and sculpture and paintings, any number of things. When you enter the museum, you'll be immersed in Oklahoma's Native American history, specifically the six area tribes. They have decided what they want in those display cases, so they're very different. Some have artwork, some have uh, photographs, um, it just varies. And then also in the rotunda is an unusual collection of artwork, and those are the tribal seals that have been done in bronze, and they have a third dimension to them that we don't typically see when we see those seals. So this is the only place you can go to see that collection. 
Off of the rotunda, you will find an art gallery full of pieces by some of the most famous Native American artists, many of them from Oklahoma. In the art gallery, we have a collection of paintings that starts with ledger-style art, comes right on around to contemporary artists working today. We're thrilled to have a collection that encompasses some of the most well-known Native artists of their time. Another gallery hosts traveling and permanent exhibits, and there's also an education room where classes and conferences are hosted. You can also book the room for your special event. In the education room, there's a collection of paintings that tells the story of the trial of Standing Bear. And these are the paintings that were done by Mike Wimmer when former Governor Frank Keating wrote his book, The Trial of Standing Bear. And so we have the original paintings here. After you peruse the gallery, be sure to take a stroll through the walking trails to learn more about each area tribe. Each of those same six tribes who are represented in the rotunda uh, are represented on that walking trail. They each have a viewing court and they can tell pieces of their story there through artwork, recordings, or audio posts there. Rich in history and Native American heritage, the Standing Bear Park, Museum, and Education Center hopes to leave a legacy with those who visit. Our mission is about education. There are a lot of differences between not just the tribes, but between the Native culture and the non-Native culture. And uh, it's never our intent to make all of those seem the same, but to offer the opportunity for people to not only learn about, but to enjoy those things that are different about us. And if we can learn to enjoy those differences, then um, we've made a big step toward bridging that gap between the cultures. The Standing Bear Museum and Education Center is located at 601 Standing Bear Park in Ponca City. They're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 2. There's no charge for admission. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We're the only independent children's bookstore in Oklahoma. We're headed to one of the most unique spots in Tulsa. Okay, what we're gonna do, we gotta use our base. And our base we use is a, a barbecue sauce. Plus, out of this world pizza, we'll show you where to get it. The name of our business is Junk Stars because we like to take junk and turn it into something really cool. And we're talking with Blake Shelton's mom about her shop in Tishomingo. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. There are some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today Magazine is bursting with culture, mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. It's the perfect gift for Mother's Day or Father's Day. Give them something truly special, a year's worth of adventure. For only $14.95, Oklahoma Today Magazine. Break through the ordinary. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from the gift shop inside the Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. Summertime in Oklahoma means summer reading programs for our kids. And Julie Chen has a suggestion for reading with a kick, you could say. She takes us to Lavender's Blue Literacy Market. I love to read. Four-year-old James is one of the many little bookworms who love Lavender's Blue Literacy Market. I, I went here like two days. It's no wonder. This children's bookstore is a warm, welcoming world of whimsy, complete with cozy story-themed book nooks. From a wardrobe leading to Narnia, Secret room. to Whoville and Wonderland. When you stop in, you're invited to curl up and read. Why do you like to read books? Because they're like so cool and they make me kind of think of stuff I really want to do. Opening this store is a dream come true for Dr. Mindy Smith, an Oklahoma educator of 34 years. I had this vivid dream one night that about this children's bookstore that I owned. And it, I woke up so happy. It was so fun and so fulfilling to do that. And I really feel like it was divine inspiration. It wasn't my idea because it was so vivid and I don't ever remember my dreams. So Dr. Mindy retired from her university professor position teaching teachers how to teach reading and opened Lavender's Blue in late 2018. We're the only independent children's bookstore in Oklahoma. My biggest goal in all of this was was to instill and nurture a love of reading in children. With her background and expertise in reading, that seems to be working. I love coming to Lavender's Blue. 
Lavender's Blue is magical. When you walk in the door, there's something for everyone of every age. Um, there's things to play with, there's books to read. It's, it's just, it's truly like unlike anything else in Tulsa. From board books to stories about our state, there are around 5,000 carefully curated titles. You'll find classics, and fresh new picks too. We've had some um, Oklahoma authors come in and we're, we have a couple of, of shelves for them, but we also want to plan several um, author visits this summer when the kids are out of school and we can get a lot of them in here for that because it's, it's really fun for them to get to actually meet the author, hear about the process of writing. Kids are also invited to slide on into story time. They hold three a week. Piggy, I have an idea. Let's go for a drive. Fun games that double as literacy learning resources are also sold here. Plus, this is a reading tutoring center. We have all reading specialists, but at this time, all the reading specialists are also PhDs who teach reading at the university level. So we really do know what we're doing. Lavender's Blue also has a great event space. It's perfect for book club meetings or showers or birthday parties, of course. They have about nine different themes and activities that you can choose from. The most popular is Harry Potter. When the kids come in, we gather at platform nine and three quarters, and then they come in and they stop at Ollivander's wand shop and we make a wand, and then they go in and they do the sorting quiz and the sorting hat, and then, then we also do a read aloud, and then they have a potions class. So it's a very involved party, but it's all around the book. Whether you're booking an event or searching for something new to read, Lavender's Blue Literacy Market is a fairy tale of a find. So oh, kid friendly and just um, the different book areas, you can kind of find your vibe, I guess, and um, it just looks like a fun place to hang out, like kind of like an adult bookstore for kids. We want this to be a destination, not just a store that you come in and buy something. We want it to be a place the kids look forward to. Like our little friend James, who's already trying to get his next visit on the books. I really want to come back. Come back and see me soon, okay? In Tulsa, I'm Julie Chin, Discovering Oklahoma. Bye, guys. Lavender's Blue Literacy Market is located at 8210 South Harvard in Tulsa. They're open 10 to 6 Monday through Friday and 10 to 5 on Saturday, closed on Sunday. If summer has you heading to the lake, we know you'll be looking for great places to stop along the way. And if Fort Gibson Lake happens to be along the way, you have to hit up this place. Jeff Roberts takes us to Urban Station. We're in downtown Fort Gibson at a place that says they have redneck pizza, chicka sticks, and clothing. What the heck? It's Urban Station. Let's go find out. OMG, that buffet. Whoa, when can I get it? Maybe tomorrow after church, Neil? Uh, we run a buffet every all seven days of the week from 11 to 2. And then uh, we order from the menu the rest of the time that we're open. We have a uh, venue upstairs that we let groups come in that we can section off. A lot of corporate parties, uh, a lot of birthday parties, a lot of reunions. And uh, uh, so we, we run events through that room while we can still service our walk-in customers through our south room. Obviously, this joint is a jumping. But what sets Urban Station apart from XYZ Pizza Joint? Menu items like alligator pizza. How is it, Mr. Jeremy Parker? It's awesome. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's not surprising because of the amount of specialty pizzas they have here. Oh, those specialty pizzas. Yeah, they're legit. Proving that Urban Station is definitely outside the box. There's Meathead, Skinny Mini, and Lisa Sheets' fave, the Chick Magnet. But what is it? Alfredo sauce, uh, grilled chicken, uh, spinach, uh, bacon bits, onions, and cheese. Since it's titled Chick Magnet, if a guy orders it, is he guaranteed to have a woman show up at his table? At, at least two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, what we're going to do, we got to use our base. And our base we use is a, a barbecue sauce. So grab is that this one here? Yes, that's in there. All right. Make a swirl. Make a swirl like this? More than that. More than that? More than that, more than that, more than that. Right there. That's good. Okay. Okay, so I've had fun doing this whole uh, redneck pizza thing, but we're going to let the experts pull it out of the oven so we don't have a major fumble here. And they don't trust me with sharp objects, so he's going to cut it too. Hey, uh, Neil, that's looking pretty good, actually. I don't think I did all that bad. No, it really actually looks good. You did a good job for your 
first redneck pizza. <laughs> you can't have too much barbecue sauce on yeah. a redneck pizza. Dang! That redneck pizza is a home run, out of the park, touch down, extra point, good, good. You gotta try one. And then after you've done the whole pizza thing, allow extra time for downstairs at Urban Station for candy and... The old time pops, we sell a lot of the uh, pops that people remember, root beer, the taffy. We've, we've gone a step beyond that. We've gone with gelato, you know, it's ice cream on steroids. Uh, to try to carry, you know, some products that go beyond, you know, what might be in people's past and then try to tie them in as well. And we have uh, retail clothing and uh, gift shop items we carry in our south room. Road trip to Fort Gibson and Urban Station have to be on your bucket list for pizza and where you've never seen before. And you can take a selfie with Dino. No, not that Dino, this Dino. For Discover Oklahoma, I'm Jeff Roberts. Gotcha, Dino. Urban Station is at 101 North Lee Street in Fort Gibson. They're open 11 to 8 Monday through Saturday, 11 to 2 on Sunday. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. We have people from Syria, Nepal, Austria, Germany, Canada, lots of Texas. Visitors from all over the world are headed towards Tishomingo, why Blake Shelton's mom may be behind it all. Of course, the, the chicken and waffle sandwich is a great seller. And wait until you hear what else they're serving up at this Midwest City hotspot. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Gather around and go for a ride through Oklahoma's all-new travel guide. See art, culture, big city venues, blazing neon, flavorful menus. Find a cabin where you can unwind. Grab your travel guide and see what you find. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're checking out all the incredible items in the gift shop at the Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Oklahoma is not only home to the wonderful Cowboy and Western heritage you can explore here, we also can claim quite a few country music stars. That's true, and one of their moms is in the junk art business. Let's check out what Blake Shelton's mom has at Junk Stars in Tishomingo. A rusty old red truck hoisted over the entrance welcomes folks to Junk Stars. Inside, wall-to-wall -wall unique creations and one of a kind. Here, things are repurposed and redesigned, but there's something else drawing a crowd. You see, this place has some famous ties to Oklahoma royalty and a country music superstar who added a new title to his name. Sexiest man alive, my son, but look at me. Um, <laughs> oh. Dorothy Shackelford is the proud mama of Blake Shelton and his dimples. Dorothy and her friend Kimberly Taylor recently took their love of crafting to the next level. The name of our business is Junk Stars because we like to take junk and turn it into something really cool. Blake had this as part of his warehouse, so he gave us this, and that's how we ended up here. How's it been going? Great. Their motto, pieces of the past brought back to life. Just taking things that you already have and trying to create something that you can actually use. And I just love it, and it's a part of history. Whatever we see, we just create it, and we, we can't wait till someone buys something so we can make something else. <laughs> That's all we want to do is just make stuff. And Kim takes uh, denim jackets and turns them into really cool stuff that's popular right now. I mean, this was part of an old bedspread that she put on there. So I love what they've done with this old denim jacket. They've ripped some holes in it, put some plaid under it. You're gonna find lots of cool stuff, including plenty of Blake Shelton items like this shirt and fun hats. Everything. <laughs> um, too much, my husband says. Um, I'm really not allowed to be in here right now, but um, there's really not anything I don't love. Tara Parks has an eye for art. She's a super fan of junk stars. Just her uniqueness on how she does things and the passion that she puts into it and just how the outcome is. It's, they're just gorgeous. Everything that she's done for me has been gorgeous. So there's not just one thing I can land on that just the whole package. <laughs> like the floors are brown paper bags and uh, we'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> you did the flooring? Yes, we did the floors. Uh, they're brown paper bags. Some of the ceilings are quilted. Some of the ceilings are laced. 
Um, just about everything in here hanging or sitting has been redesigned or recreated by me and Dorothy. And if it's not, it's because it was so cute we had to leave it alone. Whether you're shopping for a unique piece or you just want to show your love for Blake, Junk Stars have you covered. The ladies are drawing fans across the U.S. and around the world. Well, we have a book here that you can sign in when you come in. And of course, that's Blake's jeans and shirt, courtesy of Dorothy. <laughs> but um, you can sign in. And we have people from Syria, Nepal, Austria, Germany, Canada, lots of Texas. Texas is our neighbor. We really like Texans. Well, I think it's pretty amazing. But to me, he's not all that sexy, but I guess to somebody he is. <laughs> well, I think he's really handsome. Yes. He's very handsome. He's very cute, but he is not sexy. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's my son. I don't know. Well, Dorothy, we know, and we think they got it right. In Tishomingo, I'm Tina McGarry, discovering Oklahoma. Junk Stars is at 104 South Kemp in Tishomingo. They're open noon to 6, Thursday through Saturday, and until 5 on Sunday, closed Monday through Wednesday. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. I can't get away from the chicken tenders or the chicken wings. It's the best of both worlds at this Central Oklahoma hotspot. We'll explain when Discover Oklahoma continues. Explore new horizons in your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Get the excitement rolling. Reawaken your sense of adventure. Discover totally unexpected thrills. Order your free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide today at TravelOK.com. We've really enjoyed doing a little shopping at the museum store here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum today. You bet. And the program would not be complete without a trip to a great restaurant. And this time, it's a spot that combines two of them in one place. Come along with me now to the Drum Room Wedge in Midwest City. All right, so you're wanting some chicken, but not regular chicken. You want something a little different. How about chicken and waffles? Well, the Drum Room would be your place. But wait, there's more. What if you're also craving some pizza, flavorful, tasty pizza? Well, the Wedge Pizzeria can get you fixed up. But wait, there's even more. What if you combine the drum room with the Wedge Pizzeria? Huh? How about that? Well, guess what? The powers of B have already thought about it. They're way ahead of us. In fact, it's right here in Midwest City. I like the small lunch pizza that they have. It has great crust. Uh, the toppings are good. It's the right size. Chicken was good. The drumsticks. Yeah, it's really good. It's extremely difficult to leave the drum room wedge in Midwest City and still be hungry. There's a ton of food from which to choose, so when you come in, just get comfortable, roll up your sleeves, because the food here truly is finger licking good. So we've added three more burgers to our menu, which are amazing. They're all half pound burgers. Mm -hmm. um, they're all cooked to order 100% of the time. We've also added two pastas, spaghetti and meatballs, and black and chicken Alfredo. And of course, they're not only serving up their famous and delicious brick oven pizza where they use pecan wood, but they've added New York style pizzas. We have a 100% scratch kitchen. We make our dough every day, we make our sauces every day. We prepare to cook food to order every single day the same way. And we don't take any shortcuts. While the truffle shuffle and the Italian stallion are two of the most popular brick oven pizzas, the New York traditional cheese and the pepperoni are popular on the New York side. And as popular as the pizzas are here, I was a little surprised when David told me. Fried chicken is outselling pizza, 60% to 40%. Tenders seem to be the leader, and then wings, and then half and whole birds. A half bird is, of course, four pieces, a whole bird is eight pieces with a waffle. I'm a big fan of their golden fried chicken, and you can't beat the rounded richness of those incredible waffles. Of course, the, the chicken and waffle sandwich is a great seller. You know, it's a deep fried chicken breast without the bone with uh, cheddar cheese and bacon and chipotle sauce with a waffle as the bun. Now you can also have a salad, a pizza and a salad, grilled or fried chicken, pasta, meatballs, and don't forget those big old burgers. We welcome families and children. All of our menu items will be reduced in portions for half price for children. So that way it's affordable for children. I suggest sharing food in our restaurant because our portions are so large. And drinks are a dollar, unlimited refills. Oh, the food is excellent. It's a great addition to Midwest City. We have a lot of chains, but this is, yes, we've been here three days in a row, 
the, the pizza here, the dough and the ingredients are all fresh. I can't get away from the chicken tenders or the chicken wings. So you need to get fired up and head to the drum room wedge in Midwest City for some delicious food. If not, they're missing out on cuisine. Good home cooking. The Drum Room Wedge is at 2320 South Air Depot in Midwest City. They're open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. All you have to do is log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A huge thank you to the fine folks here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum for hosting us this week. You can pop into the museum store anytime, but you really owe it to yourself to check out the museum too. Of course, if you can't make an in-person visit, you can browse and buy most items on their website, store.nationalcowboymuseum.org. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, summertime calls for chili dogs. We're hitting up one of the best places in the state to get yours. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.